All right, so at this point, we are almost rounding up with the seven days jumping jacks challenge. So today is day six. Let's get a little bit of warm up and then we dive right into the main workout. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get ready, get ready. Get the warm up in and let's start jumping. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 100 jumping jacks, you are going to be done in no time, okay? You can do this within one minute, less than a minute, okay? But even if you can't, take a break in between. Like I always say, you can do 20, rest a bit, give yourself a few seconds of rest time, and then do another 20, another 20, 20, until you are done. If you want to do it in 50, that you have just two times to do it. You go first 50, rest for a few seconds, and go for your second 50. Do what you can. Listen to your body at all times. Always listen to your body. Listen to what your body is telling you. Do not over push yourself, okay? Just do what your body can handle over time. As you keep doing it, as you are consistent, you will improve, you will get better, and you are going to notice it for yourself. You're going to notice that, yes, uh, maybe I was able to do only two push-ups, now I'm able to do five. I was able to only do 30 uh, jumping jacks, but now I'm able to do 50. You know, stuff like that. Whatever you're doing, be it sit-ups, whatever the, the case may be, even if it's planks, whatever exercise you're doing, it doesn't matter how you start. It's about being consistent. Keep doing it and you're going to improve and get better when you keep doing it. At this point, we're done and dusted. Day six is done. Now we have one more day to go and voila, we're done with the seven days jumping jacks challenge. Thank you so very much if you're joining on this one. And remember, like I always say, to tag at Ogom Series. She rounded up already. I started two days later, so I still have one more day. Thank you very much. <laughs>